Hi, everybody. We're going to get going on our reading interactive notebook. So please grab your reading and grammar notebook, your plastic snap clothes envelope, a pair of scissors, and some glue. And I'm going to grab the camera while you get your things ready. Okay. All right. So in our envelope, there is something that looks like this. Oopsie. It says, write the answer. We're going to tear that off. And we're going to tear off this blue, the very first one. This one that says, uh, it's finally here. And we're just going to leave this one that says color answers and the guided tour. We're going to put those back. Okay. We'll do those in the next two days and then we'll be all finished with asking and answering questions. All right, so real quick with this, you don't have to um, cut too much off. It, it should fit the way it is. Um, so if we go back to reading, back here in reading, all right, and we turn to the very last page we did, which was Pet Rat, okay? All right, so I think what I'm going to have you do, I want you to skip this page, okay? And here's why. Skip this page and turn it over so that we can glue these two down like this, all right? So we're just going to glue them down. Actually, we don't need our scissors. I think these are going to fit just fine. So get your glue. We're going to do the blue, the story on the left-hand side, okay? Oopsie. And the way you can tell is if you make your hands look like an L, left is L. This one does not make an L. It's backwards. So you're going to put your blue story on the left. And we're going to put our orange page on the right. smoothed out. All right. And then I'm going to put my glue away, pull it down a little bit. So I'm going to put it away. I don't need those. All right. I am going to need something to write with those. So I do want to have something to write with. And I'm going to have you go ahead and get these glued in. And we're going to go back We're going to be doing a lot of back and forth because otherwise you can't see the cards that I have. All right. So we're going to be doing some answering questions. All right. And this story, it's finally here that we just glued in our notebook that's blue. That's the same as the one that you see on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and read it and you can follow along in your book. Okay. It's finally here. Today is my birthday party. Mom has been planning a huge pool party for the past month. There are, are about 50 kids coming to swim and celebrate with me tonight. Wow, that's a lot. That used to not seem like much before coronavirus, right? Okay. I helped mom bring all of the party supplies to the community pool. We have tons of food, pool toys, decorations, and games. It takes us several trips to the car to carry it all to the pool area. Just as my friends start to arrive, I notice a dark cloud in the sky. Everyone seems to notice it at the same time. A moment later, the sky lights up with a strike of lightning and a clap of thunder. The lifeguard calls out, the pool is closing. Please get your things and leave the area. What about my party? I whine. All of my guests help us load the car with the party supplies. We all quickly get in cars and head to my house. The house is full of kids. There is noise and food in every room. It is exciting. I find myself enjoying the party even though we aren't playing all of the fun games we had planned. The next morning, our house is a mess of trash, food, and even a random shoe. 
It will take a while to clean up, but the party was well worth it. Okay. So <clears throat> on your orange page, it says write the answer. We are going to write our answer to the questions, but we're going to be practicing the race, R-A-C-E. Remember? So if you want to go back in your book to find race, it was yellow. R stands for restate or re-say part of the question in your answer. A says answer all parts of the question. C says cite your evidence by including parts of the text in your answer. And E says explain your evidence. All right. So number one, what time of day is the birthday party? How do you know? Okay. So we're going to look in the story. What time of day is the birthday party? Do you think it's early in the morning? Do you think it's maybe mid-afternoon? Late afternoon? Okay, let's go ahead and start with our answer. What time of day is the birthday party and how do you know? Okay. Let me go back to our camera. Okay, so to start our answer. All right, the birthday party, so I'm gonna start up here so I have room, don't write too big. The birthday party started in the afternoon. because they were having a pool party and they would want it to be warm, right? Because you're going to get in the water, you're going to be cold. So we know that it's in the afternoon because they're going to the pool to have their party and they would want to go in the afternoon for it to be warm. And then oftentimes thunderstorms roll in in the afternoon, don't they? Because of the clash of the warm air and the hot air or the cold air, excuse me, the warm and cold air. All right. So you may need to pause this. You do need to write it all. The birthday party started in the afternoon because they were having a pool party and they would want it to be warm. Okay, go ahead and press pause and get all of that written down. This one is going to be a lot of writing. I apologize. We do have to practice it, though. Something that you are going to want to be good at because it's something you're going to need to do forever. Okay, it's not going to be something we just do today. This is something you're going to practice in third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade, tenth grade, eleventh grade, twelfth grade, freshman year in college, sophomore year in college, junior year in college, senior year in college, as an adult, your whole life. So this is a skill we're going to always, always use. So we're going to do all of this, but it's not the only time we're going to do it. All right, I'm going to go back to the card. So if you're writing, go ahead and press pause so that I don't take it away too fast. All right. Okay. The second question is, why did the lifeguard close the pool? Why did the lifeguard close the pool? Okay. Back to our paper. All right. Okay, we can start it out. The lifeguard had to close the pool because a thunderstorm had started. Okay, so why is that a big deal? What do we know about thunderstorms? 
Okay, let's add that in there. And it is not safe to swim when there is a storm. Okay, thunderstorm usually has lightning, which is not good to be around water when that's happening. So the lifeguard had to close the pool. So I put part of the question in the answer because a thunderstorm had started and it is not safe to swim when there is a storm. Okay, again, pause the video now so you can get it all written down. Take your time. A stitch in time saves nine. Do all of the parts that you're supposed to do. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on me. Go ahead and get it all written down. You can do it. I know you can. Do you know why I know you can? I'll tell you it's a secret. Because I got the smartest class. But we don't want to brag. We don't want to brag. All right, we're going to go. So if you're neat, you need this, go ahead and push pause right now because I'm going back and it's going to disappear in three, two, one, zero. Okay, the next question, question three. Does the author have fun at her party? How do you know? Okay, I did not know it was a girl. Did you guys know it was a girl? I thought it was a boy. All right. Does the author have fun at her party? How do you know? Okay. Back to the camera. Okay. What do you think? Does the author have fun at her party? And how do you know? So looking back on our story in this sentence here, or this paragraph here, the house is full of kids. There is noise and food in every room. It is exciting. I find myself enjoying the party, even though we aren't playing all of the fun games we had planned. Okay, they also said the party was well worth it. All right, okay, so. Read that question one more time. I wish I had them just with me, okay? Oh, oh, not that one, don't want that one. Okay, does the author have fun at her party? How do you know? All right, let's go back here. All right, so we'll start out with the author had fun at her party because her house was full of kids. Okay, that's one. And they were having fun. Okay. Now, if I had more room, I'd say they were having fun even though they didn't get to go to the pool. But I don't have room. Okay. So go ahead and push pause so you can get this down. It's gonna disappear in three, two, one. Okay. There. All right. Do they play any games at the birthday party? How do you know? Do they play any games at the birthday party? All right. So we're looking in the story. Even though we aren't playing all of the fun games we had planned, their house is a wreck of trash, food, and even a random shoe. Okay. All right. Do they play any games at the birthday party? How do you know? Okay. All right. Did they play any games? It doesn't say they did. 
They didn't play the party games because her games were for the pool. So they really can't do it if they're for the pool. It says on here that um, they made several trips to take party supplies to the community pool. We have tons of food, pool toys, decorations, and games. Um, the lifeguard calls it closed, so they go back. They find themselves enjoying the party, even though we aren't playing all of the fun games we had planned. They didn't play the party games because her games were for the pool. But she had fun anyhow. Okay. Go ahead and get that written down. Two more to go. Almost finished, guys. I know this one's a long one. All right, go ahead and press pause so you can get all this writing done. Okay. Okay, number five. Why is the house a mess the next morning? Why is the house a mess the next morning? Okay. Her house was a mess the next morning. Because, so what's it say? The next morning, our house is a mess of trash, food, and even a random shoe. It will take a while to clean it, but the party was well worth it. Okay, she's got a ton of people in her house. So her house was a mess the next morning because she had over 50 people there eating food and having fun okay go ahead and get that written down okay go ahead and press pause so you can get all of that written down. We're going to head over to the last question. How long did it take to plan this birthday party? How long did it plan? Uh, how long did it take to plan this birthday party? Okay, what we have to do is go back to the text. How long did it take to plan this birthday party? Okay, mom has been planning a huge pool party for the past month. Okay, so the question was, okay. how long did it take to plan this birthday party? All right, do you see it? Okay, let me get back on here. Okay. It took her mother a whole month to plan the party. Okay. Go ahead and press pause if you need to. Let me bring this down just a smidge. I think you can see all of it. Okay. 
Okay. All right, so hopefully you're pressing pause so you can get everything written down because I'm going to close the camera. All right. Come back here. All right, guys, so that's all we're going to do for today for our reading interactive notebook. Good job. It was a lot of writing, I know, but it was very, very good practice. All right, we're going to close that book, and I'm going to go uh, get ready to do a math lesson, and then it'll be time to do Mouse and the Motorcycle, which I'm excited about. All right, guys, I will see you in math, and then at the reading, uh, reading uh, the read aloud for chapter 11. Oh, oh, my tongue. I hope it's cooperating with me during the read aloud.